Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing something a little bit different than I normally do. I am going to be doing a reading vlog. So if you don't follow me over on my Instagram page, it's Caffeine and Pages. Go ahead and click the link below and you can go ahead and follow me there. And you'll be able to see what I post there. I post like my love for books and reading. I love reading all kinds of genres, thriller, horror, YA, new adult fantasy, sci-fi fantasy. I love it all. So if you're interested, just stick around. I'm going to be filming a day in my life of like a relaxed, chill day. I really have nothing going on, so I figured why not vlog what I'm doing today. I am going to be finishing up an arc on my kindle um, i received from lindsay clements i will put her instagram name right here um, i'm reading an absolute bloody disaster i would say it's kind of like a ya not really new adult at all or adult it's more ya fantasy it's vampires if you liked twilight the crave series anything like that um this is kind of be up your alley i am 65% in um, and I haven't been able to put it down. I started it a day ago and it's seriously so good. I like want to see where Xander and Lottie's story goes. It's so good. And then once I finish that, I'm thinking about picking up The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharpay. Um, I heard really good things about this and I just got it. So I'm either thinking about starting that um, it is the last day of the month, so I have not picked out my August TBR yet. Um, I'm thinking about literally just doing, I don't know if you can see up here, but I really want to start Vampire Academy because if you don't know um, Shay's reading list on Instagram, she's been like pushing it on everybody and she makes it look so good. So I definitely want to read that. So I might just put that on my TBR for August and try to finish. There's six books. So I think I'm going to try to finish all six of those in August. And then September, I might try to read Strange to Dreamer. I don't know, but that's going way too far into the future. Um, don't even know what tomorrow holds. So anyways, these are probably going to be my reading plans for today. So if you're interested, stick around. Um... I have to plan like my next month just like in general so I might show you guys that and then also oh they're right here I wanted to show you guys if anyone is like into annotating their books highlighting making notes and things like that I found these awesome highlighters so basically one end is the highlighter end and then another side is an eraser end so like if you make a mistake or you're like mm, never mind didn't want to highlight that it literally erases it it's amazing they are the crayola take note brand i threw away the box but they don't seep through either on your pages so really love these if you're into annotating i haven't annotated a book in so long i think the last book i annotated was girl in pieces and honestly I kind of got bored of annotating it clearly um but yeah I'll show you what the marker looks like I just don't I don't highlight the whole thing I kind of just like underline um so yeah that's what it looks like so if you're interested in those I think I got those at like the dollar store or big lots or something super cheap so yeah if you guys are interested just stick around we are gonna have a good time today we're gonna make snacks i'm thinking about baking banana bread there's gonna be lots of b-roll in here with like cute music it's so nice out today 
Um, so yeah, I'm basically gonna get ready for the day here soon. I have my coffee and I am going to try to finish an absolute bloody disaster. this book is like it's just hilarious and like so funny and like it's so fast paced like I just love it so much so basically it's about a girl who's like a vampire but she's stuck in her like she's probably like 24 when she was like turned or whatever and that's like not a spoiler but she's 200 years old so it like goes back from like the 1800s to like present day in the story and it's just like it's so it's just so good and it's kind of like a trope of like there's like real family but there's also like found family and i love that trope of like found family i think it's you know sometimes your like best family is your found family so i read more of this and try to finish it I made honeys and blueberry. If you've never had honeys, honeys. If you've never had blueberries with honey and yogurt, I eat the Greek gods yogurt, the honey flavor, and then I put blueberries and honey in it, and it's like my favorite like breakfast. So I'm 65% done. I'm gonna try to read like 20 more percent, um, get to like 85%, and then. Um, might shower or something i have some laundry to do as well so see you guys in a little bit obviously can't say what my prediction is because I don't want to give spoilers away um but I have a prediction and I think it is going to be correct um I'm gonna write it down and then see and make sure if my prediction stays true I've kind of been predicting this for maybe like the last two chapters so we'll see but i also don't know if i mentioned or not but an absolute bloody disaster will be released october 12th um and you can go ahead and go on goodreads and put it in your want to read bookshelf so that way you get a notification when it is finally published and it is going to be such a great read for october like it's so fun and lighthearted, and you also get like there's like killing happening and trying to figure out like who the killer is and stuff like that so you do get like a bit of like a thriller investigation type scenario in this book and it's just so good so i'm about 80 percent in and half of my assumption was true so i'm like it was still like surprising though like even though like i had like an inclination of like a theory and part of it came true it was still like exciting like I'm like yes and like surprised and like it's just really cool so I am loving this 80% um, 5% away from what my goal would be I have about an hour and 30 minutes left of the book um, so once I get to 85% I need to do some laundry and stuff like 
that and then I'm going to come back and finish the last 15% of the book and then I will update you guys on my final thoughts. Oh my god. <laughs> I have 23 minutes left in the book and it's like... What is happening? Part of my theory was true, but not all of it. And we still have 5% left and I'm just like, how is this going to wrap up? And because this is a spoiler free vlog, I cannot tell you <laughs> what's happening, but I wish I could. And oh my gosh, you guys. I will be back when I am done to give you my full thoughts. Like this, I have no words. Okay, so I have finally finished an absolute bloody disaster and my theories were partially right. Um, but oh my gosh, that ending, there's obviously going to be a second book. I'm just so excited. I rated it a four star. I loved it. I thought it was great. I felt like the writing was really, really executed well. And overall, it was just a really great read. And I am so thankful for Lindsay Clement to offer ARCs. And I was lucky enough to get one of them. So thank you to her for allowing that for all of her followers. If you've read this, let me know in the comments below. I want to talk about it. It's like a young adult vampire story. It definitely has like that just, there's like little different things about like your typical vampire that are different in here. But there are a lot of like your typical vampire things, but the story is just completely different than any story I've read about vampires. Um, the characters, besides them being vampires, were super relatable and it was just really easy to read and I finished it in two days. Um, and pre-order information should be out soon so if you go ahead and follow Lindsay Clement on her Instagram, she'll have like all of the pre-order information posted there. But the book does come out October 12th. So go ahead and give her a follow. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for sticking around if you made it this far. If you have made it this far, leave um, the little vampire emoji in the comments. That's one of my favorite emojis. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.